What it says that you need is you need two BDU pants and two BDU blouses. So I got one BDU blouse and you are going to want to iron and starch and do all of that before you go to encampment. It cuts down on your time and also I suggest you bring these hanging up because it saves space in your bag and you have to bring hangers anyways and that way they don't get wrinkled. So this one actually I'm not going to bring because it doesn't actually have name plates. So here, here's one that actually has nameplates. Make sure you have all of your patches and everything on them. And you want to make sure you get two of those. Okay. Then you need your cover. If you have two covers, I actually suggest that you bring two because so many lose, so many people lose their covers. If you have two, I don't suggest that you go out and buy an extra one, but if you have two, why not? Okay. You now want the pants. Also, two BDU pants. One, two. I'm actually going to bring three because last year someone ripped their pants. I mean, you can pack as much as you want, but be frugal. I mean, that's not the right word. Be watching what you do get and just make sure they fit right and everything because like these, look at that. That's like cardboard. These are really nice and starched, so these are going to look great when I put them on. Whereas these, maybe not so much because these are older, so I've find them more. So just be paying attention to what you grab. Make sure your belts are in the right places and whatnot. Okay, this is another thing. It's not actually on the packing list, but this is a BDU jacket and I'm going to winter encampment. So I'm assuming it's gonna be really cold. And nice thing about this is it has an insert. So if it's just kind of cold, I can wear the outer layer. If it's really cold, I can wear the inner layer. The thing about this is it makes me look like a marshmallow because it's so padded and it's actually a little bit bigger than me. So if you're going to winter encampment, and I'm in Texas, so if you're going to winter encampment somewhere else, bring a jacket, and you probably already have yours. But it does have to have all its patches on it as well. Okay, also for BDUs, black t-shirts. January 1st, 2014, they're phasing out all of the brown t-shirts. That means everyone is gonna have these black t-shirts. Um, let me see how many it says. Six to eight black t-shirts. So, you're not doing laundry, so bring a lot. Oh, one last thing. Depending on how cold it is, you may need gloves. These are actually in rags. Do I need gloves? Make sure they are in rags, though. And socks. These are actually PT socks. Eight pairs. So you need, like, three pairs of blue socks, eight pairs of BDU socks, and eight pairs of PT socks. Lots of socks. Also, underwear or panties, eight pairs. You're, depending on your encampment, it's six to eight days. So you're gone for a little while and you're gonna want, yeah. I don't think I need to say anything more there. Let's see, we got socks. These are PT socks. Eight pairs. Shoes, make sure they're shiny. And I have a video on the basics of boots. That also includes blue shoes, but I do suggest that you get comfy inserts for both Blue shoes and BDU shoes. I didn't say this already, but make sure you shine both your blues and your BDU's boots before you get to encampment because these, dirty, everywhere, not acceptable on encampment. So don't bring them there like that. Okay, then you got pants. Make sure you have your pants. You only need one pair of pants. And you got a belt buckle. Make sure you bring your belt buckle. That's just a stupid thing to leave at home. Okay, now BDU shirt. Depending on your encampment, you probably are just doing class B's. You need to talk to them about long sleeve versus short sleeves, ties, no ties, depending on your wing. But make sure you have all your stuff together. Some will let you wear ribbons, some won't. Some will let you wear cords, badges. Always have your insignias. Depending on your encampment, they'll let you have and bring certain things. And last but not least, your cover. Make sure you bring your cover. And if, once again, if you have two, I suggest you bring it because you never know when you lose it or someone in your flight might not have one and you can lend it to them. Make sure you have all your stuff together before you go to encampment. That is a major thing. People show up all the time without those things and then you're kind of stuck because you're leaving your flight, your flight sergeant, flight commander, encampment commander, everyone in all situation because they don't have extra clothes for you.
Um, I didn't say this before, but make sure you have a shirt for under your blues because you kind of need it. And bring one or two of those. PT shoes. Bring them. A lot of people try not to bring them and then they think that they'll get out of PT. But if you don't bring them, you can wear boots. And if you don't bring those, then you can wear blue boots. If you don't wear those, then you go barefoot. It's not an optional thing, PT. Bring nice shoes. Don't bring brand new ones. Bring ones that you will use. Like I've said it before, socks, eight pairs. It says white and big letters, so I'm, that means white. And that doesn't mean like white with stripes or mix, mat, mix match white. It means white, white. These are dirty, though. Okay, PT shirt. You don't need to bring it. They give you a shirt. It may be yellow, it may be blue, it may be black. It depends on your squadron or your, yeah, your squadron and encampment. It depends on your encampment. And then pants, they're supposed to be black or navy blue. These are long and I'm gonna bring these because it's gonna be cold, I believe. So you can bring long ones or short ones, make sure they're modest. We're back to some extras. If you're a male, you're gonna need to bring garters, also females too. I have the princess cut, which means I don't have to tuck it in. Or if you have a skirt, you're also not going to have to wear it. But garters, have one set, two set, make it look sharp. Another thing is, these are called backers. They go, oh, hold on, it's buttoned. They go back here. They make it look sharp. They make it look nice. Bring those. Cardboard, paper plate, means cereal box, I don't care. Something that goes back there. And it just goes in between the frog, which is like the little bracket, and the needle. So then the cardboard's here and the needle's here and they just whoop, go get it. Saving pens. You'll never know what you need to use these for. Bring them. You use them for cords, for fixing socks, or your bag falls apart, or to ravel something up, or I don't know. You will want them. A ruler, this is actually on the packing list, but I highly, highly, highly suggest you have it for correcting your own uniform, you need it for your bed, bring a ruler. It's not a suggestion, it's mandatory, bring it. Okay guys, back to some more things you're gonna need. Starch, also bring your iron, highly suggested. You're gonna need to iron, you're gonna have some spare downtime. In that time, you're gonna wanna make your uniform look sharp. Second, sunscreen and bug spray. Depending on where you are, you're gonna need these because even if it's freezing cold out, that doesn't mean the sun is gone. And also, these are very helpful because the rest of your body will be covered up because it just sleeves down. This is pretty much, you need this, but you also have to get the back of your neck. So, you can decide on that on your own. Okay. Foot powder. Depending on how old or new your shoes are, this is actually kind of optional because everyone else is going to have it. And so you don't need a giant thing of antifungal powder and medicated foot powder. If one, you have worn it, you're used to walking, one, you have good boots that are worn in, and two, you just take care of your feet. Don't wear wet socks or old socks or dirty socks. So you can bring this, but your TAC officer is going to have those, your flight sergeant, flight commander is going to have those. But if you are staffing, you need to bring these. Okay, mine it says also bring moleskin. This is actually not moleskin, but it's kind of close in packaging. Other things like safety things like this, there's a whole department called medical. You don't need to bring your own thing. If you do and end up using it, you get in lots of trouble. Um, oh, another thing is, oops, actually, no. One more thing is things like this and your cadet handbook and regs, unless you're staffing, you don't need to use. Because they're gonna give you an SOI I don't remember what that stands for, but they're going to give it to you and you're not going to need to look at other things and you're not going to have time to. So I don't suggest that you bring these, they're just going to take up room in your bag. So I don't suggest you bring those. Rain poncho, depending if it does rain, you're going to need these. Check your supply list because it may have different colors or certain ones or they may just provide them for you. Notebook, paper. I suggest you bring them on the Texas wing. It does have you saying that you do need to bring these. I suggest bring a Sharpie because you need to write your name on everything or you will not get it back. You will lose it. It will be sent to lost and found and you will leave before you ever get it back and you'll never get it back. They'll just end up throwing it away. Notebook. Get a nice notebook and bring pens and pencils and just bring like a school pencil case because you will have lots and lots of classes. But Sharpie is a must. 
Okay, some type of hydration system. This is for a canteen and this is a web belt. You can wear a cable wax or don't bring just water bottles. But this with a canteen or a camelback is suitable.